Jerry Ring Tripod Stack of Books. Oh yeah! Hey, what's up YouTube? So, in today's video, I'm going to be participating in the Tarantula Tag Q&A. I was tagged by the Tarantula Guru. He's a really nice guy and he's got some really cool looking tarantulas, so go check out his channel. I'll put his link in the description below. So, basically in this tag, I'm supposed to answer some questions. And I'm just going to go through the list because there's a good 10 questions. So the first question is, what got you into tarantulas? And I'm actually going to say it was another YouTube video. It was actually David Dobrik. He had a, he had one of his friends, hey Jasper, he had one of his friends take a tarantula and use it as a prank. And I know that's not what you're supposed to do with tarantulas at all because when someone is scared and you put a tarantula on them, they can definitely fall to the ground and die. So I didn't know this at the time. This is my very first like interaction with tarantulas and that's what got me interested. And so I headed up to the exotic pet store and I got myself a Chilean rose tarantula fra. I still have her to this day. That was about a year ago. So that's how I got started into keeping teas. Second question is, what was your first tarantula? And I kind of just answered that. It was Fra, my Chilean rose, or Gramostola rosea. Oh my gosh, I just had a, a little brain fart there. I can't even remember. <laughs> and then third question is, what is your favorite species? Which is exactly why I laughed at myself when I had the brain fart because that is my favorite species. It's the Gramostola rosea, the Chilean rose. It is the first tarantula species I saw in person as a child. I was in high school and one of my biology or physics teachers got himself a Chilean rose. Her name was Sophie and Sophie still lives to this day. He passed it down to one of his high school students and she still has her. Anyways, that was my very first experience with the tarantula, the Chilean rose, and ever since I saw that tarantula specific species in person, I had fallen in love with it. And still to this day, it's my favorite because I have three of them. Fourth question is, what is your dream species? My dream species would probably be the Pamphibetus ultramarinus. It's this really cool blue, purple, black spider. I'll put a picture of it because it's just very hard to describe. It's just, it's like the most beautiful spider I've ever seen. I know there's other ones that come in like really cool colors. I know people like the psych Psychedelicus spider tarantula, but I can't, I don't know. I haven't looked it up. I do know that a tarantula breeder somewhere in West Virginia, I believe, has two, uh, has a pair of these species and they're trying to breed it out. So hopefully if they ever get any from them, I might consider purchasing it. It's probably going to be really expensive, Jess, but that's one of my, that is my dream species. Ever since I saw a picture of it, I fell in love. Fifth question is, how many tarantulas do you currently have? I currently have nine, I think. I just got a new one. I have, I have three full adult teas, and then two juveniles, and four slings. So that is six plus three. I have nine tarantulas. And I know that's not a lot compared to other tarantula YouTube channels, but I'm also a medical school student and I've got two crazy dogs and a whole room of other reptiles to take care of. So I have to limit myself to, you know, the species that I really like. Otherwise, I would literally have one of each. If I could have my way, I would literally have a pair of each species of tarantula that is in existence. Sixth question is introduce us to one of your tarantulas. All right, so this is a tarantula I'm gonna introduce you guys to. This is Rio, my Lassiodora parahybana, also known as the Brazilian giant salmon pink bird eater or a variation of those names. It's got a lot of different common names. So let's show her to you guys. This is what her enclosure looks like. And see if I can find her. She's probably in her log. Don't wanna disturb it too much. Oh, she's in the back. 
there she is. I'm gonna see if I can get her out. All right, so here is Rio. She was not very happy about getting pushed out of her little hide, but here she is. She is my biggest tarantula, and she likes to kick hair, so I don't actually handle her too much. She is the very first tarantula that I raised from a sling less than a year ago. She was the size of my pinky nail, and now she is the size of my hand. All right, so I'm just gonna skip over to the next question, which is, or a task, it is to feed one of your tarantulas. Here I have Arizona, my Arizona blonde. I am so creative with names. Her Latin name is Afano Palma Calcotes, and I have a cricket for her. So I'm just gonna slide that into her enclosure. Hopefully she doesn't hate me. Her butt is raised. She's not liking being disturbed. Oh, did she get it? I think she got it. There. Macro shot of her. Her butt is still in the air. That's her little defensive posture. But she's being a good tarantula. I don't think she's going to chew it in front of me. Oh, there she goes. So question eight is, what is one of your favorite YouTube channels? And... I'm going to say Lord Alion, even though he doesn't post that often. He's a Canadian YouTuber and he's also got a lot of reptiles. He has tarantulas as well as snakes um, and crested geckos and other things that I like. He's got a chameleon named Xena that absolutely hates him, but his videos are very fun to watch even though they don't come very often. All right, question nine is, do you have any other exotic animals? I have a ton of other exotic animals. I have a rare species of black and white dog. He comes from Louisiana. He's very exotic. He likes to swim in the water. And then I have another exotic dog. He comes from somewhere in Florida. He's gray and spotted, and he's very easily <laughs> excitable. They're very, very exotic. But I also do have, um, I have ball pythons, I have a black rat snake and a ribbon snake. Oh God, my dog just knocked me over. I have a ribbon snake, I have a leopard gecko, I have two crested geckos, and I have some fish tanks, I have a betta fish. And I think that is about it in terms of other exotic animals. I just got, see? easily excitable dogs. <laughs> All right, so now I have to move on to the two specific questions that the tarantula guru asked me specifically. Boys, calm down. And his question, his first question is, what is your rarest tarantula? My rarest tarantula is Darwin, my Socotra Island blue baboon, also known as Monocentropus balfouri. I am not gonna open the lid because if I do, he or she is going to crawl into that tunnel and you're never gonna see her. So I'm going to try to do a close up of its butt because it, I can see it sticking out right now. Okay, so that is the rarest butt in my collection right there. That is Darwin. You can barely make it out. I'm going to put a picture of what the adult of this species look like so that you can see. Because right now it's just a hole, it's a web tunnel, and I just have a butt to show you. Second question is, what is your largest tarantula? And that one I already showed you. It's Rio, my Lassiodora parahybana. She is currently my largest, and she is still growing. She's only about half her supposed adult size. So the last thing I have to do for this tarantula tag is tag someone else in the tarantula community. I am tagging the 8th page tarantulas. I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description below, so make sure you go on to her channel and subscribe to her. Okay, so I'm putting this clip at the end because I totally forgot to ask you a question, Chelsea, when I tagged you. So my question to you personally is, what type of tarantulas do you prefer? Arboreal or terrestrial or burrowing species? Or if you want to go with old world or new world species?
Thank you so much for watching this tarantula tag, and I will see you guys next time.